Soil pH is likely to vary across paddocks and different rates of lime are required for maintenance or recovery of soil pH. In this case, 58% of the area doesn't require any lime, while 13% requires 1.5 tonnes per hectare and 28% requires 2.4 tonnes per hectare. This is a saving of 56% of total lime compared to a blanket rate of 2 tonnes per hectare across the paddock. Or more importantly, 28% of the paddock would have been underlimed and 58% overlimed. This video is showing the path of the tractor applying variable rate lime in a 9 metre control traffic farming system using John Deere Link Telematics and a viewing app called Hectare. You'll note the tractor only turns at the end of the run to travel back to the lime dump to refill. That is a feature of control traffic farming where you don't drive off the tram lines and recompact the soil. The spreader is fitted with farm engineered spreader curtains to achieve an even spread across the 9 metre swath in windy conditions that frequently blow in the northern wheat belt summer. The great thing about using this technology is not only how you can apply what is needed where, but you can also record what has been applied where and monitor the yield performance post application. When creating variable rate prescriptions, soil testing to determine the correct rates is essential. Combining lime spreading with technology allows you to efficiently apply the right amount where it's needed, particularly where you have contrasting soil types within a paddock.